Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a Warner Brothers collection. I have one, two, three, four, five stacks. They're all uneven. That's because I got my Blu-rays, my live action animated and kind of live action superhero animation, and then live action animation over there. So, um, I don't have a lot of new Warner Brothers stuff because, like, the new titles, because I don't really collect Warner Brothers stuff, but... I'm starting to get more Warner Brothers stuff, and I forgot I'm missing something. I knew I was missing something. Let me go to my holiday DVDs. Yep, I am missing something. I already knew I was missing something. Yep, right here. I got two holiday films. So, I'll show you them later on in the video, but let's get straight into it. We're going to start with my Blu-rays, because I barely have anything, because that's the smallest pile yet. Let's go. So, here we have the Ant Bully. The front, the spine. And the back, this is this is actually my first video on the channel, was the unboxing of this. Got this from Walmart for only $5, so that was a good price. My mom got it for me, because it was very cheap, so she said I could get it. Um, this is one of my favorite, this is probably my favorite Warner Brothers movie. Mm, yeah, 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 maybe, I don't know for sure. There's some really good live actions down there. But yeah, so this is DVD, Blu-ray and DVD. And yeah, I watched this like four times. And then here we have the DVD and the Blu-ray. I didn't think they were going to do disc art because they stopped doing it for Warner Brothers. But this is an old title, so they um have disc art. So yeah. That was animation. Now let's get into superheroes. Here we have the Batman, or Batman. Okay, so I did an unboxing of this recently. I got this from 7-Eleven for only 5 bucks as well. And there's the back. Look inside. So guys, I'm sorry, but I already used these codes. I use all my codes before I like um, do a collection. I use, make sure all my codes are used so you guys can't take them. So I already used the codes, so I'm sorry. If you guys wanted it. And then here is the Blu-ray. So, this is a really scary Joker. This is my favorite Joker. A lot of people like Keith Ledger as Joker, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do not hate on me for this, but I don't like Keith Ledger as Joker. He's a, well, he's a good Joker. He's not, he's not my favorite Joker. But that's most people's favorite Joker. But not mine. So, sorry. Next, we have a steel book of the Man of Steel. The Man of Steel steel book. See? <laughs> it's really funny. But here we have this right here. And there's some hair on it for my cat. Or no, that's some scratches. That's not hair. That's scratches. I need to find a way to take those off, because that looks tacky. But here we have the spine. And the back. With nothing on the back. That's why I don't like still books, because they don't have information on there. Now, let's open this bad boy up. So, here we have the Superman symbol. This is not my first Superman movie. It, I thought it was good, but it's not that good. And then we just have kind of plain disc art. They all have the same disc art. So, here we have the DVD, which I want to switch with the Blu-ray. Then here we have the Blu-ray. And then... Special features. So yeah, there's that. Um, like I said, it's pretty good. Aquaman's still better though. Aquaman is. If you don't know what Aquaman is, uh, I don't know. So next we're gonna get into this pile. I'll do this in a minute. Here we have um four kids' favorites, Cartoon Network, ten movie collection. It's sorry, it's a little bit dirty. This is a really old DVD I picked up a while back. Here's the spine. And the back. I picked this up a while back, but yeah, it's still really good film or films. And this is live action and animation, but I put in an animation pile because it's I don't know. But yeah, let's open the bad boy up. So the films we have in here are Race Against Time, Secret of the Omnitrix, Troll Aliens, and Alien Swarm. So yeah. Now, open it up like this. You got, um, flip, flipper cases, draw aliens, uh, race against time, unsecret of the Omnitrix, and alien swarm. So, yeah, I like these multi packs. They're really good. Next, we have, um, kind of messed up, happy feet. Right here. Um, the film's pretty good. 
I guess. I liked it as a kid, but nowadays it kind of creeps me out, and it's, there's not a lot of talking in it, though. But yeah, here's the inside. We're playing this card. Yeah, this is an old title, but it comes with playing this card, and it's widescreen. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But here we have, I, I don't even know what his name is, but we have a baby penguin on here. Now we have Happy Feet 2. Right here. And a white disc, in a white case, my bad. And I don't even remember watching this. I don't even think I did. I don't even think I did. I only know a couple scenes from here. I don't think I did. I don't remember. But I got this only for five bucks. So that's a good deal. And then here's the inside. I took off the slip cover because it was a Christmas style slip cover, which doesn't look cool. Because it's not a Christmas movie. Well, kind of. It's snow related. But I don't know. But there's not there's there's way more talking uh, in this than the Happy Feet. I know because I watched the scenes. I watched some of the scenes on YouTube, and there was a lot of talking in those scenes. And the trailer had a lot more talking too, so I'm assuming. And then we have another baby penguin. And are these the same penguins? I don't know. I can't tell. They look different. I think he's the father in this movie. Like he's grown up, and like this is the baby. I think that's what the case is. I think this is the father, and this is the son, and this is the father when he was a baby, I think. I don't know. Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. Next, we have, um, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Right here. And it looks really cool. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, I saw this a while back. I never bought this. I actually got this from my grandma. It was in a VHS box, and it was still wrapped up, so I picked it up. And it's a little damaged, though. I had this for a long, long time. I it, When I found it wrapped up, it was about three years ago. And then, I don't know, it looked like it was used because I unwra it was in a wrapping. When I took it off, it was damaged. I, I don't know. But here's the inside and the disc. And watch, I bet the disc is scratched. Surprisingly not. Surprisingly, it's not scratched. But yeah, it's like a Wizard of Oz um, spinoff. Remake and VeggieTales. And my grandma had a lot of these VeggieTales stuff, like the tapes and stuff, because this is Christian um, animation. So, yeah. I like it a lot. The only problem is, the, um, where, I mean, not the where, the lion didn't wear glasses. That's the only problem. They could have had him with no glasses on. And he wasn't old. But I don't know, I don't know. They couldn't find another person to be the, um... Lion, I, I don't know. And then we have the Tin Man and the Scarecrow, and then... Yeah, and another thing is, it's a boy. This is a boy. Veggie Tail, they could have had a girl, because the original person was a girl. But overall, um, I didn't pay for it, so yeah. See, it's the story of Podlin. Sorry if I butchered the, that name. Son. See, so that's a boy. But, sorry for the rant on that. But here we have, um, switch this around. Scooby-Doo, where are you? The complete first volume, a monster catch. They they re they have the season sets at Walmart, so I need to go pick up some. Cause I got I still got a couple of dollars left over, so I'm gonna go pick up some. I have like twenty bucks left over, so I'm gonna go pick up the first season probably next week. I don't know, or in a couple weeks. The original first four episodes remastered. This actually has eight on here, and I'll tell you this. I'll tell you why. And the special feature is Jags to Riches bonus episode. It's a bonus episode, so. Nine, and I'll tell you why, but let's open this. So, here we have Volume 2, Dump in the Night. So, that bonus episode, and plus this, makes it nine. And so, yeah. And then here we have the Volume 2. So, yeah, um, I haven't watched this, or this. I, I, I don't think, I watched the Cartoon Network reruns on Boomerang. So, I probably have seen those episodes before. I saw the first and second episodes, not the... Third and fourth. I don't remember those. Not at all. Next we have the What's New Scooby-Doo Complete Series. No, Complete Season 1. I need to get the other one. 13 episodes on two disc. This is back when the TV show only had 13 per episode. It was back when they did that. And then here we have the back. Um, I like this better than where, Scooby-Doo Where Are You? Don't judge me. I just I grew up watching this. I remember watching this on Cartoon Network and Boomerang. Here we have Shaggy, Scooby, Velma, Daffy, and Fred. And then here we have this one and this two. They have three seasons. I need to pick up all of them. 
So less than 52 episodes because there's 13 per season. But yeah. Next we have a really cool one. I never did an unboxing of this. But it's the Looney Tunes Superstars. It's the 45 cartoon um, classics. Which these are There's 45 shorts on here. 45 shorts. It's fine. I got this um, last year. When I got back into collecting, because I been I collect I started collecting DVDs and stuff and Blu-rays in 2016, and then at the beginning of 2017 I stopped and I got back into them when I picked up this. But yeah, and now here's the inside right here. It comes with a nice little cover. And yeah, we have Daff, um we have Buzz Bunny, my bad. And I don't know these ones. I remember this show on Boomerang on um, watching the reruns and this. So these these are the ones I remember as a kid. I don't remember this one. I saw I think one short of this before. And then here we have the stacked disc. So here we have the um first one. And then take this off. And then we have the second one. Then take this off. And then we have the third one. Which they kind of have disc art. Kind of plain though. And they're very easy to get scratched up because there's no, like, art on the front. So, it's very easy to get scratched up, which I hate. That's all I like when the companies, even though they do no artwork, they still have it, like, so a DVD, that so it won't get scratched up. But this has plain, not that good artwork and the bad DVD. But overall, it's good. Overall, it's great. Overall, it's Gucci. Overall, it's awesome. So, yeah, so there's the Looney Tunes Superstars. I need to get volumes two and three. I think there's a fourth one coming out soon. I don't know. And this is something I remember my dad he used to put this in his DVD player on the car in the car and we would watch it. And this is the Four Kids Saturday morning cartoons, nineteen seventies, Hong Kong Fooey, Yogi Bear, Jonas and the Pussycats and Batman. I remember these three. I don't I never watched this because it's for girls, so I never watched it as a kid. Spine and back. So I was born in the 21st century, but I my dad had a lot of old DVDs, so we watched a lot of stuff and I remember a lot of stuff like um, DuckTales and stuff like that. Scooby-Doo and stuff like that. So, yeah. And I used to not get DVDs because I would have cable. I still have cable now. But, um, I, I wasn't a really big collector. So, um, I didn't really care for getting DVDs. But I watched all the old shows on Boomerang. But we don't have Boomerang anymore. So, I have to rebuy all those shows back. Which sucks. Now we get into the, um, live action. Starting with Space Jam. Which is a very, very cool classic. And then I'm unboxing this on my channel. And there's the back. Special features. And cool commentary. By Bugs Bunny. Daffy Duck. And director Joe Pixie. Producer movie. Sorry if I butchered the name. Only one. Um, special feature. But that's because this was only three bucks. I got it for my birthday. For my brother. And we have Michael Jordan. And the rest of the gang. And then a plain disc. Yes. Warner Brothers does this a lot. That's why I don't get Warner Brothers stuff. And... It's, this is not my favorite company. I like Disney, DreamWorks, and stuff like that more. Even though I have the most of this. But, yeah. Next we have Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed. I I found I saw Scooby-Doo 1 at um, 7-Eleven on Blu-ray, but I didn't get it because it's on Blu-ray, and I want a DVD. But I might as well just pick that up on Blu-ray and then get this on Blu-ray on Amazon. But here's the back. Scooby-Doo, Velma, Shaggy, Daffy, and Fred. And yeah, I like this. I wish they made a third one, but they didn't. But yeah, two. I like this one better than the first one. I really do. And every single way, this one's just way better, even though I do like the first one a lot. That's weird. The sequel's way better than the first one. That's usually unusual. But next we have um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I remember watching this as a kid. This is my dad's DVD. I remember watching this as a kid. I loved it. It was really good. And yeah, when I... But, um, some parts would creep me out. Like, when I saw them, they would creep me out. And Johnny Depp, he's just a really creepy person. I'm sorry, Johnny Depp, but you're a really creepy person. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. And especially in Alice in the Wonderland, the live-action film, he's really creepy in that. But, yeah. And here's the inside. And, yeah, so. These are really old DVDs, so they have the disc art. And some that are really old DVDs, like, the titles are old, but... It's like a new release DVD, so they like have plain stuff. But here we have the Team and Turtles movie classic movie collection. Right here with um 
includes four films, so I have all of these on DVD, and the fourth one's a Warner Brothers movie, so it includes into this collection. But I gotta say something. It, a lot of people don't want to watch the four, the fourth movie because it's an animated movie, and if you, and people, some people watch it before watching the first three. You have to watch the first three to know the animated movie because it ties in. Because Shredder died in these ones, and he's dead, or he's already dead in the fourth movie, and if you guys want to know how he died, watch this. Movie and the second movie, because they'll talk about when he died. You don't have to watch the third one. Do not watch the third one, guys. It's, the third one's so bad. But here we have this one right here. Okay, sorry for the background. My family's in the kitchen. Um, this two. And I don't have number three because I w lost it. Wait, let me get out this. It's kind of hard to get these out. Come on. You can do a piece of crap. See when this happens. Okay, number four. And then I have this. Team Man Turtles Season 4, this 5, just ran the DVD in here, so, it fit, it, it, I mean, it fits, because this is supposed to fit 4 DVDs, and I only have 3. But I want to get this collection on Blu-ray, they, um, recent on Blu-ray, not too long ago, like in 2016 or something like that, I really want to pick it up, my friend, my friend has it, and he says it's really, it's way better watching it in Blu-ray than on DVD, and I agree, I've seen it on Blu-ray before. At one of my friends' house on a sleepover, Halloween, a couple years back. Next, we have Dennis the Menace Special Edition. And, um, it's, it's really nice. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Here we have the spine. And the back. So, hmm. It says, the, um... Mm, it creates the home along magic. And sorry guys, I kind of messed up here. Well, hmm, no, never mind. I thought I had the animated movies mixed up with these, but I didn't. But yeah, Dennis the Man is special edition. I don't know how it's special edition. I don't know. It's probably because it comes with a lot of special features. And you can read all those. I'm not going to read them. Because they're a little bit long. But here we have the inside disc. I don't know why it's special edition. Like I said, probably because of the special features. And they have a second movie with this same person. But a different Dennis. No. Actually, they did change both of these characters. And my bad guy, sorry. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry, but yeah, like I said, they changed these characters. So, mm, that's why I probably didn't... Well, I think I saw it. Oh, wow. I think I saw it. I think I saw it. I think I saw it. But here we have Max, which is actually really good. So, this character in here, there's a guy from um, Dolphin Tail, and that was a really cool film. So, I decided to watch this one, which is fine. And here's the back. And so, yeah, read all that. But let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside. And they have the plain disc. I don't even want to look at that. And it's Eco Box 2. It's because this was only $7.99. Now, this one was only 3 bucks, And this was Max 2 Wax Hero. The only reason I got this is because I want to be a completionist. And I, I know her from the Disney Channel. Um, from Dog with a Blog. And that's about a dog, too. So she's doing another movie about a dog. But the difference is, this movie... The trailer was terrible. I'm never going to watch this. Probably one day when I'm just really, really bored. I do not want to watch this. It's not. It doesn't even look that good. So, probably not. But, I already know I already know what's inside. So, I'm not going to even show it. Because I don't even want to show it. I'm sorry, guys. It's just I don't want to watch that movie. It looks really bad. Next we have is Superheroes. We have Superman um, 3. Well, triple, triple feature Superman 3 DC, DC Comics premiere movies. We have Superman, A Little Piece of Home, which is a really good one. And then we have Superman, um, Branagh Attack, and Superman, Last Son of Krypton. These were all really good, so that's why I picked it up. But I know something, they're stacked disc inside. But I have to show you guys them. Here's number, the first one. And then we have the second one. And then we have, which I don't really this down. The third one. The Last Son of Krypton. And I kind of had the movies out of order. A little piece of home was supposed to be first, but it's just because how I washed it, so I put it back in wrong. But yeah, pretty decent, pretty nice, pretty awesome, pretty lit. Next we have, if I can grab it, we have um, Batman, Dark Justice, the 13 episodes on two discs. 
I need to get the um first season, the first part, but it's a lot of money. It's like twenty one dollars for the show, which got canceled. It only has one season on it though, and these are the episodes if you want to look. There's no special features or anything, which is pretty boring. And then yeah, this was on Warner Brother Kids, and Warner Brother Kids was um part of Cartoon Network, but they don't have Warner Brother Kids anymore. And then flipper cases with see this is what I'm saying the plain art but like a disc that doesn't won't scratch up a set right here and then disc two we're reaching the tail end guys but these are some some of these are really good films some of these are not well seven in order here we have Batman the Dark Knight Returns um, with Heath Ledger and he actually died of an overdose. Um, a couple months after this film came out, and it was really sad, but I didn't really know about it yet, because I was still a kid, and I didn't watch this movie. But I remember watching it as, um, I remember, the first time I saw it, I think it was in 2010, and I really enjoyed it, and I really, that's when I fell in love with Batman, is when I watched this one. And, yeah, some of the parts in here are boring to me, but that's okay. Yeah, there's a disc. And next we have is the Dark Knight Trilogy, so it was cheaper to get this pack together then get it alone and separate so that's why i double dipped on the dark knight that's okay because this is a really cool package and i believe i had a booklet with it i'll show you the booklet let me go grab it found it Actually, you found the booklet, guys. I'm really proud of that. I found it. I found the booklet. I found it. I found the booklet. Okay, here's the booklet. And first, let me show you the DVDs first. So here we have um the Dark Knight. Well, Batman Begins, the Dark Knight, and the Dark Knight Rises. If you'll focus. So I don't know why they changed the name, and they don't have. They didn't keep the name as Batman. They could have did Batman Begins, Batman the Dark Knight, and Batman the Dark Knight Rises. That would sound cool. But yeah, so that's why it's called the Dark Knight Trilogy and not the Batman Trilogy. Oh, I forgot about that. So, the bad thing about this is, every time I get one of these, I purchased this so many times because this broke. Every time, it broke. But there's Batman Begins right here with this cool disc art. This is a newer release, so I'm surprised they came with disc art, but this is the not the original art work that comes in the regular disc. And then the Dark Knight and then the Dark Knight Rises. With really cool um art right here. Really cool. So yeah. Um, it's overall cool. It's overall cool. And now here's the booklet. Right here, so we have the Dark Knight trilogy booklet. I'm not gonna show a lot of this, but I wanna show you a feel stuff like this. So this is kind of spoiler for the TV. I mean for the movie, but that's okay. So I read this booklet a couple times. It's really good though. And it talks about how they made that scene. So, like, that's why I like these booklets. And, yeah. Oh, so, next, we have the last thing in the Warner Brothers collection. And that is Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. Right here. Here's the spine. And here's the back. Can't really focus in. Wait. Okay, so I saw this day one in theaters, and my the movie that I went to had reclining chairs, which was awesome. So I saw this in theaters, and it kind of ripped right here. And I have to get a new copy, probably. I'm going to get this in Blu-ray soon enough. But yeah, not a lot of people liked it, but I really enjoyed it. And I don't like the new, the Justice League movie that much, but I really enjoyed Wonder Woman and Aquaman. So the standalone movies are really good, but not the Justice League movie. That was not that good at all. But yeah, so there's Superman and Batman right there. And then Batman vs. Superman logo in the background. And then here we have the plain disc, which is kind of artwork, kind of not. You can't really see it. It keeps moving. There. But yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys all. And guys, I'm not going to be posting for I don't know how long. Probably, I'm probably going to do all these collection videos and then stop posting for a while. So sorry, guys. But that's the way it is. Things will never be the same. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys all. Bye.